And here we are with episode 52. We're going to take on the next gym leader. I believe this is, yes, this is gym leader number six. Two more after this one. Can we beat this gym leader? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably. Maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna switch my guys around and go start with Kong for this one, you know. Yeah. Uh, she's the flying type, like last episode title, is she said she's like Flackner, but really, yeah. As in, she's a lot more stronger, but does have a roost, like in Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Yes. Electric types and ice types, which you, I don't think you have ice types by now, maybe you can like have a... Yeah, you could, oh my god. Starting over, yeah, you could have, um, you could have the cast form... Teach it Blizzard from Lily Cove and then have it use Hail, which makes a Blizzard have a hundred percent accuracy. Um, yeah, so that could probably that could help you a lot. Uh, I don't think her. I believe she has a yeah she has a Skarmory, and I don't think I. I don't believe Skarmory is weak against Ice type moves though, because they're part Steel, but they but I knew do know they're weak against um, Electric type attacks. So if you had like a Magneton. Uh, which is a really good electric type attack. You have been like you know pretty good by now. Well, some Magnemite balls at like level thirty, I believe. Yeah, it's really good for its battle. Um, yeah, um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Anyway, here's back to the stupid Pelipper using protect. It's, that's like I, I guess they wanted alliteration or something because that is Pelipper's signature move. Basically, is protect. Pelippers like to use protect. Pelipper protect. Yes, I. I I guess since they're like, no, not even that. I was gonna say like you know maybe it's I realize it's cranes that hold babies, not pelicans. So what? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's her Skarmory, and she has a I can't remember her team from uh, Emerald, but I do know she has a Tropius in Emerald, which ironically is weak against flying type attacks, which I thought was pretty funny. Also, you can teach Pelipper's um, Thunderbolts. Yeah, you have um. Thunder Wave and Thunderbolt, which can actually can teach a lot of Pokemon. Now I remember, but remember how my first play through this, I had a Pel Pelipper that you knew Thunderbolt and she like wiped down her whole team. Except for Altaria. Teller Altaria is mean. Let's go with that. And it was Dragon Dance, which will raise its attack and speed by a lot. It, I, I don't know. And she could heal it anytime. Also, it's known as Dragon Breath, which can paralyze you. And I paralyzed it there, but you know, yeah. So of course, I don't think the I think the only Dragon type Pokemon you can have by now is you know, uh, Barbara's or Flygons, which is the uh, evolution of Barbara. And I, like I said at the beginning, I'm not very good at pronouncing Generation Three Pokemon names. Yes, I'm perfectly fine pronouncing all the other generations. So it's not Generation Three. That's why they all have nicknames. Yes. Yeah. So let's see if I can finish Altaria off. Yes. Oh, yes. Is she? Most of these gym leaders are a lot tougher in Emerald. Like every single gym, not lying, was changed in Emerald to make them tougher. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, um, you know, like Norman had more Pokemon. Actually, see, um, see, in order the Rush of Order City gym that they added more gym trainers. Um, Brawly's gym, they added more trainers, and I believe that he used bulk up a lot more in that one. Um, Duration, well, you might beat the gym, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm going to explain it. Um, she gave you Aerial Ace, which is a, um, flying type move that'll never miss, and I believe it always goes first. I don't know, you think so? And, um, see, third gym, the added more gym Lee, the, um, I believe he has a I believe he has a Mantrike in that one. You already have a Mantrike already. And um, I'm going to teach it to Raptor. I'm going to see Kong's moves real quick. Um, generation, let's see, number four, which was Flannery. They added more. They puzzles a little harder than that one, and they added more trainers. And I believe, she, I believe um, they had a move that when she used um, Overheat, she actually gained. She, Regained the uh, special attack she lost. Uh, fifth one, which would be Norman. He, I believe, the gym trainers stayed the same. I might have had like an extra room or changed around a room. But I do know he had extra Pokemon though. 
like had a line noon in Emerald. Um, see this one. They changed the puzzle realm. They added a lot more, and she has a Tropius. And let's see the seventh one, which I won't say anything about that. They had two extra Pokemon in Emerald, and eighth one they actually changed the gym leader. And um, and I believe they're actually I believe that set's exactly the same. But I do know they added more gym trainers, and they changed the gym leader. But we'll get into that later. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna, I was going to teach, originally going to teach um, Fly to Raptor. I think it'll be better off of Lantline because it'll give it more of a, give her more of a di diverse move set. You know, so I'm just going to have Faint Attack, which is ironically the Dark type version of Air Lace, which I got for Raptor. Yeah. Also a 60. Um, yeah. Anyway, you know, I'm going to fly over here, and we're going to go to Rushmore City. And we're going to cover something over there, which I forgot to do last time. It is also a part of Vinny's rules. I catch a Pokemon over there. Yes, a very obnoxious Pokemon. It took me like an hour and a half to find. Better than the Skitties, which I found I won't ever be able to find, though. But we can see how I get a Skitty later. I know, is that a Fort Tree City or something? Uh, maybe go watch that video again. Yeah. Yes. So, we're going to head north, and there's a new route we can go to and we had surf and I was too lazy to go to anyway this is route 115 yeah anyway going to go to the beach please this surf come on yes Mars Tom's you surf I need you rename nickname them I'm supposed to have fly now so I can get to sleep port in like four seconds yeah not even four seconds <laughs> anyway uh yep Anyway, you just want to keep on going north. That was a random encounter right there. That's why I went back. I edited that a little, maybe a little too broadly. Anyway, up here is a tree you can get. There's a lot more trainers on this route, and uh, well, a small portion of Route 115. And um, uh, there's like two more trainers in this one. Actually, maybe a little more than that. And uh, Emerald, yeah. I might actually do an LP of Emerald just because it's a lot different than Ruby and Sapphire. You know, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, um, I don't know. Yeah, hey, see, uh, the levels might be a little different, though, because, you know, it is sort of a lower, you know. I should have done this earlier, but I didn't, because I'm, you know, lazy. Ooh, and Battle Throw is going to hurt. Battle Throw hurt. Yeah. Yep. And then level up. No, I didn't level up. Oh, that's a level up. That's what I was thinking of. And much stronger than I imagined, blah blah blah. Um, go to battle that trainer over there and later, but I'm going to catch a Pokemon first. Which was a part of Vinny's rules, because for some reason he has a, I don't know, has a fetish for this Pokemon. I guess it has a 10%, uh, I don't know, really, really low chance rates. Anyway, we'll go to it. Yes, this is Jigglypuff. This is the one of the few um, Pokemon from Generation 1 and 2, well, Generation 1. That you can find outside the Savari Zone, yes. I'm gonna see if we can use a nest ball, which we found, which was one of the items we could not get that was getting blocked by a Kecleon. Um, so was a sunny day, which was also getting blocked by a Kecleon back on um, the route just east of yeah, just east of Fortree. Yeah. If you're playing along, you would have already captured it and like saw it when you could have go down that little area right there. Yeah. <clears throat> Jelly Puff's attack missed, ha ha. Yes. Use another Ultra Ball. Come on, catch it, catch it, catch it. Yes, I caught it. No, I didn't. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, I didn't. Oh, I was so used to looking for the sparks, you know, because af this after every game after this one, they showed the little sparks when you caught the Pokemon. I'm like, go click and go spark. But no, but now I caught it. Yeah. Anyway, of course, uh, biting to the rules, I must name Jigglypuff. Yes. I shall name it... Er, what shall I name it? I shall... I forget that sound, but whatever. Uh, since it evolves with the Moonstone, it normally is, you know, hinted out that it's from the moon, sort of like a fairy, I shall name it Moonshine, because, you know, I don't know. I'm from Tennessee. Well, was born in Tennessee. Don't live there anymore, though. I don't know. Yes. Anyway, uh, we'll continue next time in episode 53, where we'll do some stuff, and some other stuff, and maybe some more stuff. See you next time. Bye.